For the purpose of better understanding the language, I'll be using a simulation software to test the programs. I'll be using it to demonstrate each instruction we cover. However, I'll focus more about the language and the concept other than teaching the software. The concept is the same for each PLC type that uses ladder logic. Each PLC manufacturer uses their own PLC ladder logic software. They might have differences, but the logic is the same. The simulation software is called Logix Pro, provided by LearningBit. The software mimics Allen Bradley Rockwell RS Logix 500. So you can download the simulation software from the website thelearningbit.com. There is a free 15 days trial if you want to give it a try. So you can click on Logix Pro and Bradley RS Logic Simulator in order to download the free trial. Once you download the software and install it, then you click on Logix Pro software. Once you open the program, it tells you how many days left for the free trial. So then you click on continue in order to get into the software. So this is the platform for the simulation software we're using. All the ladder logic is going to be happening in this white area. So in order to add the ladder logic instructions, you go to the PLC instruction panel, and then you add a new rung. And in order to get the instructions, you just click on it and drag it to the rung. Notice here that once you see the green light, this indicates that you can place the instruction on this specific location. And you can add as many instructions as you want, depending on the logic you are using. And in order to delete the instruction, you just click on the instruction and using the keyboard delete button in order to delete the instruction. So this simulation comes with a built-in examples that you can give it a try. So you go to the simulations tab, and then you can select any simulation example that you would like to. For the free trial, you are limited to the first three ones, the IO simulator, the door simulator, and the silo simulator. So in the course, I'm going to use the IO simulator in order to see how the program works. So now for to get the addresses of each button, you just move the mouse to the device and notice here that you can see the different addresses for each button. So for example, for the first one, you can see I1 slash zero. I indicates this is an input, then one is for the rack module. So you can take the address and associate that with the instruction by double click on the instruction and then write down the address that you would like to. And then you can do the same thing for any other instruction. So for example, if I want this light to be connected to the output, so you just move your mouse in order to get the address 02 slash zero, and you add that to that specific instruction that you would like to. Now, if you want to add description for each instruction, you right click on it and click on edit symbol. So for example, if this one is a push button, then we are going to add the description that we would like to. Now, the program is, does not work. We need to go online and download the program to the PLC. So you go here and then you click to go online, download to PLC, and then you click on the run mode. Once you are in the run mode, now the PLC scans the ladder logic. Once you hit on the selected push button, your output will work. Now, if you want to make any changes while you're online, you can select the program mode. So let's say, for example, instead of using this output, I'm going to use, for example, let's say the fourth light. Now the fourth light has an address of O, stands for output, two slash four. So you take that address and you put it here by double clicking on it and then just change the light number. After making any changes online, you need to download the program again. So after downloading the program, you go to run mode again, and you click on it and see that the other light turns on. If you want to change the color of the light, you right click on it, and then you select any color available, and that will reflect any changes. 
Now the same thing happens for the different instruction for the different buttons. If for example, you want to use a normally close, then you right click and that will change it to a normally close. If you want to use a limit switch, you right click and then keep changing to whatever device that you would like to try. Then you would go offline and then continue programming the ladder logic. Please note for the free trial, you cannot save the ladder logic. Now, if you want to give it a try for another simulation, for example, let's go to Cello Simulator. So this is how the simulation looks like. Now, if you would like to add more ranks or start a new program, you either delete the rank by clicking on it and hit on the delete in the keyboard, or you can go to file and start a new file. Now, the same thing applies. If you would like to add more ranks, then you click on the rank in here, and then you drag any instruction you would like to place it on your ladder logic. And if you'd like to have the addresses of each button, then you just move the mouse to that specific button and it shows you the specific address for each one.